Namaste everybody, Ashley here. Welcome. Um, today I'm going to lead you through an hour vinyasa flow. So what you might want for today's practice is a pillow or a blanket or something you can sit up on uh, in some of the seated poses. So I have my yoga blanket here and I'm sitting right at the edge of it. So grab what you need and then we'll meet on our mats. So once you arrive to your mat, take a moment to get into a comfortable seated position. Whatever that means to you, you're welcome to extend the legs out in front of you. Just find a simple, easy cross-legged position to cross it up, or finding lotus or half lotus. So whatever makes sense, go ahead and sit up nice and tall in your seat. You close your eyes, allow your shoulders to relax down the spine. And both sit bones are grounding into your mat. And allow yourself just to begin landing right here on your mat. Fully arriving, being present into this present moment. Observing any sounds going on around you. Any feelings, any sensations within the body. Start to become aware of your breath. Letting the breath get a little bit deeper, a little bit slower. And together, let's take a big inhale through the nose, filling all the way up to the top. Open the mouth, let something go. And we'll do that a few more times, just like that. So inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale out. Inhale through the nose for a count of one, two, three, four. Hold at the top of that inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale it out. Four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom of the breath for one, two, three, four. Inhale fully for one, two, three, four, hold at the top of the inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale it out, one, two, three, four, hold at the bottom, one, two, three, four, inhale for one, two, three, four, hold at the top, one, two, three, four, Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold at the bottom, one, two, three, four. Take your biggest breath in through the nose. Your biggest breath out. Biggest breath in through the nose. Keep the mouth closed, exhale out through the nose. Start to find your ujjayi breath. Mm. 
equal length on the inhales, equal length on the exhales. So we'll stay here just a few more breaths. Maybe your eyes are closed, connecting to your body, to your breath, to this moment. Maybe an intention starts to come your way. Maybe you'd like to acknowledge that intention for your practice for today. Or thinking of someone that you would like to send the merits of your practice out towards them. So we'll stay right here with your ujjayi breath and we'll start to rotate the neck in a clockwise position, keeping a nice long spine. And then changing the, the direction of the rotation. And taking your time with this big circle, being gentle with your neck. There's no rush. And then dropping your right ear towards your right shoulder. Pausing here for a nice neck stretch. So maybe starting to invite a little bit of movement here. As you keep your right ear close to your shoulder. Or maybe nodding your head. Go up and down. And then finding some stillness right here. As you wrap your right arm up or on the top of the head. Adding gentle pressure. Maybe crawling the left fingertips out to the side or giving it a little self-massage, a little love to your left side of your neck. Keep that nice long spine. Don't forget about your breath. Keep coming back to it. And then we'll release the head, the hands. Come to the other side, left ear slowly drops towards your left shoulder. Again, maybe inviting a little bit of movement, a little bit of playfulness to your practice. And then as you settle into some stillness, reaching your left arm up and around the top of the head. Nice gentle pressure here. Maybe your right hand crawls out to the side or a little love to your right side of the neck. A little self massage here can be nice. Rinsing out any tension, any tightness that we hold to the neck and into the shoulders. And then releasing your hands, your head back up to center. Okay, let's go ahead. If you're sitting cross-legged, just gently switch the cross, uh, the crosses of your leg, or change the seated position so that we're not too stagnant in one pose. And then come back, sit up nice and tall. And reach both hands up overhead, stretch tall through the fingertips. And we'll take a twist to the right. So bring your left hand to the right knee. Right hand comes behind you. Inhale for link as you reach through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, we're twisting it towards the right. So try to keep your chin in alignment with the chest. So that we're twisting at the navel, the whole torso, instead of just twisting at the neck. Keeping your left hand on right knee, bring your back hand up towards the sky, and tip over towards your left hand side, inviting a yummy side stretch here into your right side body, keeping your right knee and right hip grounded down on the mat. And 
and then we'll switch sides by coming back up to center. Placing both hands on both knees, reaching left hand back behind you for the twist. Inhale for a leg. Exhale, gently twist towards your left hand side. Drawing the shoulders in a line. And keeping chin in alignment with the chest. Nice long spine here. Take one more big breath in. And then we'll release, exhale to center. If you have any props underneath your bum, go ahead and move it to one side. And we're going to switch gears into our first child's pose. So let's take a wide leg of child's pose. Take the knees about the width of your mat. Big toes come together and sit the hips low towards your heels. And then you can crawl the fingertips forward, releasing the forehead down towards your mat. For our first child's pose, I like to invite a little bit of movement here by swaying my hips side to side. Massaging my third eye left to right in towards the earth. Coming back to Jai breath. Let's take a big sigh out. So inhale deeply through the nose. Open the mouth and let something go. Good. Let's start to crawl the hands back in towards you underneath the shoulders. And press up into a tabletop. So we come onto our hands and knees. Knees underneath the hips, hands right underneath the shoulders. Fingers spread as wide as you can to feel like you're clawing your fingertips into the mat, almost like you're gripping two basketballs here. And then with that, extend the legs long to the end of your mat. Come into a nice high plank, shoulders right over the wrist, pressing your mat away so you lift the shoulders out of the back and draw the shoulder blades away from each other. Heels press back, engagement through the core, nice strong breath to meet the intensity of this pose. We'll be here for three. You can always drop the knees down to modify. Two. And on one, let's all drop the knees down. Exhale, chest and chin down. Feel like you're an inchworm on your mat. Inhale, slide forward to cobra. Shoelaces come down, hands underneath the elbows, so try to find a 90 degree angle. And then lift the heart forward. Use your back muscles here, engagement through the thighs, pressing down, down through your pubic bone to lift the heart up. So really the hands are down on the mat for decoration, so it's all in the back here. If you wanted to hover and lift the hands, you should still be able to stay about the height that you were. Take one more big breath in right here. And then on your exhale, we're going to slink back into a child's pose. Passing through that inchwormy shape. Lowering the hips, the head. And then as you inhale, come up to your hands and knees, round to the spine. Draw your hips forward towards the mat, but try to keep them lifted. We'll stay on the hands here, shoulders right over the wrists, straight arms, and then bend the legs so the heels squeeze in towards the bum. Heart draws forward, shoulders melt back. And then as you exhale, come back into a child's pose, but tuck the toes, we'll lift right back, into a downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. So make some adjustments here. That, so the feet are about hip width distance apart. And that's about two fists width in between the feet. Fingers are still spread as wide as you can, gripping the mat. And hands are shoulder width apart. Feel like you're really pressing the mat away so that you lift out of your shoulders and draw the shoulder blades away from each other. So externally roll, take the shoulders out away from the neck, from the ears. 
creating some space in the cervical spine, lifting up through the tailbone, dropping the chest, the belly towards the thighs, a little engagement through the thighs so that we can lift the kneecaps, and drawing the heel down towards the mat. Take a couple few deep breaths in here and clear it away. Don't be afraid to make an audible sound to your breath. Just sigh it out. Okay, let's start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Meeting in a forward fold at the back of our mat. We're maybe finding a few sways side to side. And then pausing in your Uttanasana. Maybe allowing the belly to rest down on the thighs with an even, even bigger bend in the knees. Finding some support there. Letting the head and neck go. And then stay in this forward fold. Start to crawl the hands to the right side of your mat. Inhale, lengthen the legs, the spine. And exhale, sweep the fingertips through center and over to the left hand side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and walk the hands back into center. Roll the spine up to standing. Take your time getting there. Inhale, sweep the hands up overhead. Look up through the palms. Exhale, hands to heart center of prayer. Samastihi. Okay, let's flow. Inhale, sweep the hands up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Lift your heart, lift your tailbone. Exhale, forward bend. Rise on an inhale, right back up to the sky. Sweep through the fingertips. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold right back down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, and we'll walk the hands in towards our plank to the top of our mat. So make the adjustments, spread the fingers, feet or hip width distance apart. Find that nice long line of energy down the spine. And then inhale, knees down, exhale, chest and chin down. Inhale, cobra, slide forward. Press into the shoelaces, the pubic bone, and lift the heart. Hover the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together, draw the elbows back. And plant the hands beside your lower ribs, slink back through your, and at each word, right back into the child's pose. Lower the head, lower the hips. Inhale, round the spine. Draw the hips forward towards the mat, but keep the pelvis lifted. We're on the tops of the thighs. Bend the legs, draw the heels in towards the bum. Allow your heart to shine through here. And so we're gonna roll onto our right thigh, lower your right shin down, lifting your hips. Left hand, left knee reaches towards the sky. Feel free to make adjustments to that bottom hand. So the right hand is underneath the shoulder. And then when you're ready, extend that left leg straight, right out of the hip. So find the extension out through the heel. Maybe you send your eyes up towards your left fingertips. There's an engagement through the core. Nice strong breath here. And then bending the left knee towards the chest. Use your hands on the shin to help guide your left foot forward towards the top of your mat. Right into a low arm dunayasana, low lunge. Stretching the fingertips high to the sky, lowering the hips down towards the earth. Pressing into the left big toe mound to lift some weight out of the back knee. 
So keeping both shoulders square to the front of the mat here. Reach your right hand back towards your right thigh. You can stay right here. Just draw on your left shoulder, left hip back to stay square. Or maybe you find a bind by bending the back knee and reaching back for the foot or ankle. Find your balance here. Keep pressing into the big toe mound of the front foot. Lifting through your heart. Take one more breath in. And then softly release that right foot back to the mat. Both hands sweep up. Take one more big breath in. And exhale. Frame the front foot. We'll tuck the right toes. Lift the back knee. Keep right hand planted on the earth. And open this up into a simple twist to the left. So left hand reaches to the sky. Shoulders stacked up. Left knee hugs in towards the midline, left hip draws back energetically. Keep an engagement through that back leg, so squeeze that right knee straight. Pressing back through the heel. One more breath here. And then on your exhale, close it up. Step both feet back into your high plank. Feel some heat within your body. Feel your breath, try to smooth it out. And then inhale, lower knees down. Exhale, chest and chin. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Hover the hands, lift the heart. And exhale, plant the hands. Swing back into your child's pose. Lower the head, lower the hips. Next, inhale, round forward. Find your modified up dog, bring your the tops of the hands, the pelvis lowers, the heels drawn towards the bum. We'll take this to the left. So start to lean onto your left thigh. Left shin comes down towards the mat and the hips lift. Right knee, right hand lifts up towards the sky. Once you've found your balance, extend your right leg straight. Make out through the heel. Be like you're stepping onto a wall behind you. Maybe send your gaze up towards the sky. Just a few breaths here. Feel your core. Feel your breath. And then start to bend that right knee. Grab hold of the shin and help guide that right foot forward. Low Anjari Asura. Sweep through the fingertips. Settle the hips down towards the mat. And set your drishti or your gaze to one point in front of you. With an awareness of the shoulders staying square to the mat, sweep your left hand back towards back thigh. Maybe stay right here. Or bend the back knee, find a bind, reach for the foot or ankle, somewhere that makes sense to you. Keep reaching through the right fingertips, and drawing right hip, right shoulder back. Take a few more breaths right here, pressing into the right big toe mound. And then softly release left foot to the floor. Both hands reach high to the sky, one more big breath in. And exhale, frame the front foot. We'll pick up the back leg and find a simple twist to the right. Reach your right hand up to the sky. Pull that right hand back in space. Keep your right knee hugged into the midline. And then squeeze your back knee, pressing through the left heel. Pressing firmly through this bottom left hand to rebound the energy up through the right. One more big breath in. Exhale, closing up your twist. Step both feet to the end of your back, high plank. Lower the knees down. Exhale, chest and chin down. Inhale, cobra. Lift the heart. Hover the palms. And then slink back into your child's pose. 
Let's release the hands and crawl them back towards our feet. Take a more restorative version of your child's pose. You can keep the forehead down or bring one cheek down to the mat. Allow your shoulders just to cave in. And then we'll start to crawl the fingertips forward. If you walk them back, press into your knees and into your hands. Inhale, start to round the spine forward. Lower the pelvis towards the mat, but keep it lifted. Keep the upper thighs lifted. Draw the heels in towards the bum. We're going to roll this onto the right side one more time, lowering the right shin down. Lifting the hips, left knee, left hand goes up to the sky. Right away, extend your left leg straight. Left toes dialed in front of you, lifting through the inner left thigh. Steady, smooth breath here. And this time, let's see if we can take a big step forward using our core without using our hands. So a big, slow Control, step forward, low Anjanayasana, sweep the fingertips high, tap the hands together, and bring palms to heart center, in towards your heart chakra. Start to lean forward, take a breath in for length, and exhale, twist this to the left. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Lift the chest to meet the thumbs. So find your prayer hands towards the midline of your body. You can crank this up by lifting the back toes, lifting the back knee. If you feel perfect to go, you can open the arms up here. Hooking your left knee behind your right shoulder, reaching your left fingertips high. Squeeze the back knee if it's lifted. Take one more big breath in. And then close it up. Frame the front foot, and we'll step the back foot in just a pinch closer. Extend both legs straight. Lift the left toes in towards you. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Coming into pyramid, bring both feet down. Bow your head down towards your left leg. Finding your balance here. Drawing your left. Outer hip back, right outer hip forward to square the hips off. You can keep the hands planted on the mat. Or if you're working with a bind here, maybe prayer behind the back or just grabbing opposite elbows. And if you have the hands behind the back somewhere, allow the elbows and the shoulders to open. You're creating some space through the collarbone and through the neck. Couple more breaths right here. And then starting to release the hands down towards the mat. Pull them in front of your left foot. A little micro bent into your left knee. And we're going to come into standing split. So shifting all of your weight onto your left foot. Right leg floats high to the sky. Hips are still square. Right toes dialed towards you. And again, you can stay with the hands supporting you on the mat. Or find a little balance. Maybe invite a little playfulness here into this moment. Even just for a second. Maybe try reaching both hands towards your left bottom ankle, fully balancing and supporting yourself on your left foot. You can take that bottom hand uh, back down to the mat at any time. Allow the crown of the head to reach towards the mat. And then we'll take both hands back down to support ourselves. Inhale, kick that floating leg high. Exhale, draw knee to knee. Curl everything up, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, extend nice and long. Exhale, knee to knee. 
Again, inhale, get long. Exhale, knee to knee. One more time, get long. And then slowly step two feet together, front of the mat, right into your chair pose. We could toss it up, sit low, bend the knees, lift through the sternum, reach the fingertips high. Feel like you're sitting in an imaginary chair behind you. So bring the weight into the heels. Set your gaze to one point. We're here for three, two, and one. Exhale, let it go forward fold. Separate your feet hip width distance. And one at a time, slide the hands underneath the feet. So the palms face up, the toes touch the wrists, and the head bows forward. Softness into the knees. See if you can open up through the collarbone by drawing your shoulder blades out and wide. Inviting that Ujjayi breath back into your practice, back into this moment. Allowing yourself to be fully present on your mat. Right here, right now. Staying with your practice. Staying with your breath. Start to release the hands from underneath the feet. Bring them to the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Pull the heart forward, lift through the tailbone. And exhale, fold this back down. We'll inhale, rise to standing all the way up, rooting down through the feet, reaching through the fingertips. And exhale, Uttanasana. Fold down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back to a high plank. Pause here for three, two, Inhale, knees down. Exhale, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide through cobra. Lift the heart. Press the tops of the feet down. Use your back muscles. Hover the hands. And then plant the hands down. Slink back into your child's pose. Inhale, round the spine forward. Lower the hips. Lift the heels in towards your bum. Pull the heart through, and we'll roll this to the left hand side, lifting the hips, lifting right knee and right hand up to the sky. Right away, once you find your balance, extend the right leg straight, engage with through the core, keep lifting through that inner right thigh, and then look to the top of your mat. If you can, take a big, slow, controlled step without using your hands. Right into your low Anjanayasana. Sink the hips down. Reach up high through the fingertips. Tap the hands together at the top. And then bring the hands to heart chakra. Lean forward. Inhale for length. Exhale, twist to the right. Hook your left elbow to the outside of right knee. Maybe send your gaze behind you towards the back of your space. Pressing the thumbs into the heart. Pressing into the front foot. You can amp this up by tucking the left toes and lifting the back knee or opening your arms apart. Weaseling your left shoulder in front of that right knee and reaching up through the right fingertips. We'll stay here for three, two, and one, slowly release both hands down to the mat. Stay in your runner's lunge. Just step your back foot in a little bit. We'll set up for our pyramid. Draw the to uh, front toes in towards you. Flex the foot, lift the heart forward. And on exhale, root down through both feet. Bow your head forward over the right leg. 
Pulling your right outer hip back, left outer hip forward. Squaring off through the hips. A little softness through the neck. If a bind is in your practice, starting to find your hands behind your back for maybe prayer hands. Drawing the elbows back, creating space in the neck. Or just grabbing for offset elbows. Couple breaths right here for three, two, and one. Softly find the hands back to the floor. Crawl them in front of your right foot. Micro bend the right knee. Standing split. Float your left leg up and back. Well, allow your left toes to dial towards you so hips are still square. Feel like this is a forward bend of the right hip, so just drop your head and back down towards the floor. Maybe play with a little balancing here, bringing one hand, your right hand, to uh, the back of your right calf, or maybe try even just for a moment, bringing both hands off the mat. We'll stay here for three, wherever you are. Two. And one, softly bring both hands back down. Inhale, extend that left leg super long. Exhale, curl up knee to knee, chin to chest. Inhale, nice and long. Exhale, round it out two more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale. And round, softly step two feet together at the top of your mat, chair pose. Utkatasana, reach through the fingertips, sit low. And exhale, forward fold. Let everything go. Soften the breath. We'll separate the feet here with distance. And we'll interlock the fingers behind the low back. If you can, straighten the arms and find a little softness, a little sweetness through the shoulders. A strap here is great, or a scarf, or a towel, anything you have at home. If that bind isn't quite working right here. Maybe a little bend in the knees or a little movement through the hips. And then softly release that bind. Hands come to the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back into a high plank push-up position. Shoulders over wrists. Heels press back. Engagement through the core for three, two. On one, inhale, knees down. Exhale, chest and chin down. Inhale, cobra, slide forward. Tap tops of the feet down. And this time, let's crawl our hands beside our back. So our fingertips are still on the floor in this modified cobra shape. So lifting the heart forward, using our back muscles. Eyes are engaged, kneecaps are lifted off the floor. You can stay here, or maybe lift the whole leg up. Even further to go, reach the fingers back by your sides. Draw the palms in. And lift the heart up a little bit higher. We'll stay wherever you've landed for three, two, and one, slide the hands beside the low ribs, lower the legs, and slink back into your child pose. Allow the foreheads come down. A little softness through the shoulders, maybe a little movement here. Wiggling the hips side to side. Uh, 
Find a few slow breaths here. Maybe connecting back with an intention. Checking back in with your body. And returning to your breath. We'll start to walk the hands in and move yourself onto your bum. So just leaning to one hip, setting the legs out in front of you. So we'll go ahead and start to cross your right knee over the left. So if you see if you can just stack knees here. And if you have further to go, if you don't have super cranky knees today, you can bend both legs and wiggle yourself so that both sit bones are really firmly planted. A little manual adjustment, squeeze, squeeze the thighs in together and adjust the feet by the hips. It takes a little bit of finagling here to get both sit bones really grounded so you're not leaning to one side or the other. And then sit up nice and tall through the spine. We'll find another twist here. Reaching the left hand up to the sky, hooking left elbow to right knee, and finding prayer hands to the heart. Nice soft breath here. Close the eyes. Feeling any sensations in the hips. and then returning back to center. If you're already feeling a ton of sensations, you can stay just right here with your breath, maybe a little foot massage. If you have further to go, start to crawl the fingertips towards the top of your mat and bow forward over the legs. If this feels like a lot but you wanna find a fold, grab a pillow or blanket. Slide it in between your belly and your thighs and bring everything a little bit closer together. Relax through the neck. And then we'll start to walk the hands back in towards you. Move any props you use off to the side. And we're going to crawl the hands in front of us and actually just come up onto the knee. So right knee is still in front of the left. Feet are wide, shoelaces on the mat to support ourselves as we lift off onto our knees. So finding a balance, bringing hands to hips and drawing both hips forward. I, I don't know about you, but I feel a ton of sensations in my hips, down into the thighs. So I'm trying to find a nice long spine here. Nice steady breath to breathe into any areas of tightness. And if you'd like to find your arms here, we'll find eagle arms. So reach the arms wide apart and wrap right under left. Intertwining the forearms and lifting through the fingers. Nice steady breath, keep pressing into the tops of the feet to stay with your balance. And if you are feeling really good here, you want to take it even further, start to invite a back bend. Lifting your forearms toward parallel towards the ground or towards the sky. Breathe deeply. And then slowly start to release this, unwinding the arms, binding fingertips to mat, and unwinding your legs, coming into a tabletop. So for a moment, just find any kind of intuitive movement that feels really good here to kind of wash all of that away. 
Maybe circling the hips. Maybe finding some cat cows. And then we'll meet coming back onto our bum. So let's take this to the other side. So let's see, we'll bring our left knee in front of our right knee, or on top of the right knee. And then if you have um, more flexibility, more to go here, you can bend both knees, stacking knee on top of knee. Again, a little manual adjustment is great to just squeeze the thighs together, help get everything into place. Make sure you wiggle into your seat, ground down through the sit bones, and then we'll come in for a twist. Reach your hands high, your right hands high, and hook your right elbow to the left knee. Find your prayer hands towards the left hand side. Nice, steady, smooth breath, and then you close your eyelids. to center when you're ready and you can stay right here if this is feeling where your ending point <laughs> if you have further to go start to crawl the fingertips forward maybe again grab that prop slide it in between your thighs and your knees rest the head and neck down deep breath When you're ready, we'll start to come back up, shoulders over hips, and then we'll start to come forward onto your knees by walking hands forward and guiding yourself up, balancing on knee and knee. So left knee is still forward in front of the right. Feet are wide, shoelaces are down on your mat to stabilize you here. Draw the hips forward and then maybe take, take your arm variation so left under right, wrapping the forearms together, reaching through the fingertips. Steady breath here. Keep drawing the hips forward. Maybe inviting that back bend as you lift the forearms up towards the sky. And we'll slowly release the fingertips down to the mat. Release the legs, unwrap everything. Find some wiggles. Start creating some intuitive shapes onto your mat. Washing all of that away. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to make our way onto our back. So sending your legs forward. And then go ahead and just lower yourself down onto your back. Reach up through the fingertips, through the toes, find a full body stretch. And then one at a time, hug the knees into the chest. Rock slowly one, to side, one side to the other. Left to right, right to left. Mm 
And then next time your knees fall towards the right. Curl all the way up into a tiny little ball. So arms are stacked, knees are stacked here. And then reach your left arm, open it up to the sky, and let it fall softly towards the ground next to you. Palm faces up. So you can allow both shoulders to really ground down into your mat. Maybe sending your gaze off to the left hand side. Finding a little softness to your breath. And checking in with your body as we start to wind down our practice today. Now our bodies to start to rest. Start to slow down. And then we'll switch sides. Bring the knees back into center. And curling all the way up towards your right hand side into a little ball. So arms stack up, knees stack up as best we can. And then opening that right arm up to the sky, all the way to the right. Right arm falls softly to the floor. Your gaze starts to make its way over to the right. Allow your body to be heavy. Maybe you close your eyes, connecting inward, connecting with your breath, connecting with this moment, allowing your fingertips to be soft, the muscles in between your eyebrows are relaxed, your jaw is relaxed. And then rolling back to center. So we'll take a happy baby. You can either grab hold of the back of the thighs, the calves, or if it's available to you, the big toes or the outsides of the feet, drawing the knees in towards your armpits here. So allow the whole spine to be grounded. So if you notice that that sacrum, the low back is lifting, effort it down into your mat. Feel the support of the earth below you. Soften into the hip space. Maybe invite a little bit of movement here. The rolling side to side as happy babies do. Maybe a little smile to the face. Honoring yourself. Finding some gratitude for your practice for this moment. And then releasing your happy baby. Drawing the knees into the chest. We'll curl up into a little ball, squeezing the forehead into the knees. Take a big breath in, squeeze everything you've got. And then on an exhale, we'll start setting up for our final resting pose, Shavasana. So grab what you need here. Maybe put on extra layers. Slide a pillow or a rolled up blanket underneath the knees can be nice. Pillow underneath the head. Make yourself truly, truly comfortable. Allow yourself to readjust. And then start to find some stillness where you are. And the spine is neutral. Face muscles are relaxed. Your eyes are closed. Your arms rest down by the sides, adjusting the shoulders so that they soften and find a heaviness into the mat. Fingertips curl. Legs can be about the width of the mat, give or take. Just find a shape that feels really good to you, to your body, in this moment, on this day. Start to come to your natural breath. 
and find full body relaxation. Letting go and softening into every part, every muscle of your body. Allowing your mind to take part in this few minutes of rest, starting to power down all of those internal switches that are constantly lighting up and vibrating, just turn them off for the next few minutes. Power down into your shavasana. like to stay right where you are, please stay comfortable. If you're ready to move, start to invite some movement into the body by wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, nodding the head, yes and no. our way curled up to our right hand side, bending the knees into the chest, keeping the eyes closed if you can. Maybe connecting back with an intention, giving yourself the freedom to create a new one. Create a new intention for your day, for the rest of your week. And then slowly making your way to a comfortable seat on your mat. It's easy, sukhasana, or whatever makes sense to you. Sitting tall, find the hands at heart center in prayer. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. Bring your palms to our third eye center in between the brows. Taking a big bow of gratitude. Thanking yourself for stepping on to your mat today. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone who joins me, have such a beautiful day. And let me know if you have any questions. And see you next time.